Welcome back, everybody. It's a new week, new homework week here on Virtual Stitchers. Um, sorry about missing last week. The prompts were very simple for the week, and we all had really busy going on. There was, there was just, it was too much. So we did skip last week, and we apologize, but we are back this week, and we have a ton for you. So we have Magical Stitches Weekly. We have Magic um, Daily 30 Weekly. We have the monthly for both those, and um, you know, all those little things that Semi Sane likes to throw at us. So tonight, um, I am Sammy from Sammy J Stitches. We have Vicki Hartwell from Reading and Stitching, um, Miss Headmistress of Magical Stitches, Harriet Green from Stitch by Stitch Recovery, and Lisa from um, Shady Tree Stitchers, and also Paddock Lane Designs, but that's not her fault too. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Vicki, you wanna do the weekly? Yes, so this week, um, we know it's mania, and we know everybody's doing, some people may be doing new starts. So we kind of took that in consideration for this week's homework. So what we decided to do was, any new start you do that meets a prompt, it has to be a complete new start, blank piece of fabric. It's only 50 stitches. Or if you're gonna be like me and use a whip that you've already done, then it's, on, then it's 100 stitches, so. Okay, so for the first one, in Hollywood Studios, when the parks are closed, the cast members come alive, and so Andy's toys come alive. So stitch on a project that makes you feel alive. Okay, and I'm going first because I'm in the order. I'm trying my best to fit my mania pieces into um, these. So I may actually be doing penalty stitches, and you, so the stitch counts Vicki just said are if you don't have penalty stitches. Uh, there's still an option. Like if you, your new start doesn't fit the prompt, then penalty, correct? Okay, so repeat the prompt. I just totally lost it. Stitch on something that makes you come alive. Come alive. Okay. Um, I think for this one, I'm probably gonna go with dash away. Um, mostly because of the colors. They're bright and vibrant and the piece just makes me feel good, um, which I would translate to coming alive. I can't seem to find my cover photo though. There it is. And I'm going to share my screen. Can you see this? Okay. That cat. This one. So um, I think I'll work on this one for something that makes me come alive. And Christmas time always, there's so much life in Christmas time too. Mm -hmm. uh, Harriet? Um, so I'm actually going to start a new start. Hopefully, fingers crossed. See how long I can procrastinate that one. Um, I'm going to start Rose of Sharon. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing her in a color conversion. And Vicky, headmistress, here is my completely blank fabric. <laughs> I can take it out of the Q-snap if you want, but it is completely blank. And that's marking my middle. So, yeah, that's what I will be stitching on. <laughs> I, um, I want to work on things that are mostly from um, the mania related to. So I think my singer song sampler from Silver Creek Sampler, Doremi, makes me feel alive because whenever I sing, I'm happy. And every time I stitch this, I sing Doremi. So that's what I think I'll do. Okay. I am going to do a whip, I'm going to do a whip go start because I just love this pattern. And it is called Dance of the Roses. And you know, dancing makes you feel, wake up. It's a lavender and lace. Do you want me to take it out of the packaging, Harriet? Yes. Okay. I haven't seen that one before. It's, it's called gorgeous. Dance of the Roses. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. And okay, so this is, what do you think of the fabric? The fabric is like a, it's a green color. All her Ooh, pale pinks. Nice. So, yep. Yeah. So this will be a whip go start and Two birds, one stone. Okay. Um, if you notice, I'm reading from my notebook, not the computer today. So, um, 
Finn, one of the characters, had felt like he was had someone was watching him. So stitch on a pattern that you had on your wish list for a while before you got it. Okay. This one is actually pretty easy for me. One of my new starts uh, this week is Tired Trio from um, Home Street Sampler. It's the three sloths. I think I have a cover. Um, because it did sit on my wish list for a while before I finally got to an LNS and picked it up. So I'm going to show that. Yeah. They are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so I will be starting this one on the 8th. So it'll be a new start, so I only have to do 50 stitches instead of 100 for that one. Um, yeah. And make sure you're taking pictures of, so we can see the whole fabric so we know it's a fresh start. Yeah, not just in the Q-snap. Right. Like me. Mm-hmm. Um, so for this one, I'm starting another new start. I'm starting Daisy. I had her on my wish list for a while. She's pretty. And if I can open it up, there's my completely blank fabric with absolutely no stitches on it whatsoever. Oh, don't drop it in the pizza. <laughs> 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 It's fine. It didn't get touched. Lisa? Okay, I am going to do my Chinese garden mandala, chatelaine, because I am denied over buying a chatelaine for quite some time. And then I bought it and haven't done much on it. So that's what I'm going to work on. Okay, my turn, huh? Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to stitch on a mirror too, but this is already a previous start. So I really was, I had to seek this out and look for it. It was on my wish list to find. So I think I'm going to work on Violet. I apologize. My dog thinks he needs to go outside. So in just a moment, I'm going to read this next prompt. Um, then I'm going to go let my dog out because my husband's asleep and I forgot he was asleep. And I went in the bedroom already once and turned the lights on. <laughs> Him up. Oops. Oops. Okay. Uh, next prompt. Hang on, Gibbs. Next prompt. Um. So you know, Jess went into a trance writing the letters M K P E P I F P. Stitch on a a design that has a designer from that those letters. The designer? You have to have a designer. Just a second, Ella or Gibbs, whoever you are. I'll be right back. I'm going to have to catch those uh, letters again. Do you have them pulled up, Harriet? M K P E P I S P. Yeah. There's lots of P's in there. If you have any. Yeah. It's got Pepsi in the middle of it. Can you drink a Pepsi while you're sitting? I need to pull up my um, spreadsheet because just looking at stuff. I'm I like, question. I don't know question. Mm -hmm. Question then. By designer, can it be the first or last name, or just the last name, or just the first name? Because could I do Lizzie Kate for K? We usually do that. I can't remember. You, that. I don't know. For designer, we do first or last name. For design company, we only do the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I can actually do Tire Trio again because it's by Plum Street Sampler. Okay, I know who I'm doing. Okay, Harriet. Um, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Could you do Mirabilia, but that's the design company, right? Rather yeah. than the designer who is Nora Corbett. But so the you design company, you would be able to. Yeah. Okay. So I could do any number of my mirabilias. You However, could. I'm not going to because it is time I got this one out. So this is A to Z of Dinosaurs by Purple Pansy on Etsy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I had to I've check myself because I just said a bad, almost said a bad word. <laughs> I've got 
two P's in there, so it should it should work really well for this one. I don't like you right now. <laughs> okay, so I am going to do my teacups um, by Petal Pushers Designs. Okay, and before you read the next one, Lisa needs to go. Oh, yeah. sorry, I forgot. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, I was talking about doing a Lizzie Kate, but I hadn't actually got there. So I could work on maybe my Summer Smalls by Lizzie Kate, or I could do my Chatelaine because it's by Martina Rosenberg, and that's an M. So yeah, um, choices there. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are 10 prompts this week, so because we have such small stitches, 50 or 100. So Wanda's dad recruited her to, uh, to step into his place. Stitch on a piece that you replaced in your rotation with something else. Hmm. Oh, this is a hard one for a new start. I know. I know what I'm doing. That's, that's cool. I got it. I'm thinking. And, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I think I'm understanding this right. If I go ahead and start my Marion Bright, it is going to be replacing forever and ever in my rotation because they're because I only keep one of that designer in my rotation at a time. So that would be correct, Yes, right? so, so if you finish something, so if you've, um, let's say, um, let's say Harriet's got them, decided she doesn't like her dinosaurs anymore, so she moves them out of the way and she moves in Violet. <laughs> that would be a replace thing. Yeah. Funny you should. Funny you said that. That's I'm not stitching on dinosaurs for this one, but thank God. I'm very close. Cat, stop. Okay, Marion. Um, so I will be stitching on Long Dog Samplers Anzac. Which one is the one I want to show? This one. Um, because I replaced this one in my rotation with Violet, coincidentally, when I started Violet on the 1st of May. I um, pushed this one out last Mania summer by the Cricut Collection, and so it got replaced by lots of things. So I'm going to bring it back in. Um, I finished a scavenger hunt piece, so I replaced it with my post office, so I'm going to work on my post office. Oh, you're muted. You muted yourself. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. I replaced scavenger this post we, office. We heard that part. How did I mute myself? I think maybe I when you shut it down, you might have hit your space bar. That automatically mutes you. <laughs> Go ahead. Read the next yeah. prompt. <laughs> the um, computer server stopped working for no apparent reason. Stitch on a piece you put away for no reason. Oh, that'd be me. Um, I, mm, oh, I'm going to go with Snowy Owlet on this one. I mean, the whole no reason thing, it, it just, it's one I just don't, I never pick up. So. I think it's actually okay. harder to find no reason than it is to find a reason. Yeah. No good reason, a, Maggie. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I say this literally every time I do one of these videos and then I never do it. Uh, but I will hopefully bring out my little dragon who I haven't stitched on in forever. And I've got no reason why I haven't stitched on in forever. It just hasn't worked out that way. I am. Um, I'm going to go for the next one in my mania list, which is Spring Smalls by Lizzie Kate, which just went away because I actually, well, I finished one of the pictures, so it's time to do another one. My turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got two. I really, I know that sounds weird, but I really didn't, I just picked this one up. This is the first time last, last week, I think was the first time I really worked on my quilt. 
I really hadn't worked on it much because I'm in the boring part. And I also have not worked on my villains in a very long time. So it's either going to be my villains or my quilt, one of the two. And there's no reason. I just, no. Okay. Next prompt. Okay. So while they were in the parks, one of the guest children got away. And you know, moms, that when they're trying to get your attention, they yell all three names. So, uh, stitch on a project that you've yelled at. <laughs> that could be anything. Oh, mine is going to be, oh, hold up. I hadn't even, re I mean, I hadn't looked at these problems since we put, first put them up, so I hadn't thought about them yet. Okay, I'm going to go with Haunted Mansion from... Um, tiny modernist. I yelled at it one because it's huge, and so like you pull it out and you you work on it for hours and hours, and you feel like you get nowhere, so you get really irritated. But also these top two rooms, um, I made them a stitch too short, so I had to do some editing, which called for some not so nice words being yelled. <laughs> um. I think I might stitch on my dinosaurs as well for this one because <laughs> I have yelled at that piece so many times. Um, yeah, it, it, it's the reason gridding was invented. <laughs> uh, I'm I, oh, I'm sorry, Lisa, I keep thinking. I definitely, I definitely um, swore at my Chatelaine when I started because I did my first color, it had a very similar symbol and I did the first color totally wrong, so I'm quite sure I had a few choice words about that as I frogged it out. Okay, now Vicki. Now it's my turn. Okay, so when I look at this, the reason I think it's my turn is because it's Sammy, Lisa, Harriet, me. So I keep thinking we're going in a square <laughs> and we're not going in a square and I cannot get past that. We are so I apologize. We're on Sammy's square, not Vicky's square. Okay, now I can't find it. I'm gonna work on my Mill Hill jingle piece because I had to restart the daggum thing. And I'll show you why. Do you see this white thread that's kind of pink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess who's guess who stitched the red first before they stitched the white? And it made the white pink. So now I've had to restart it. So yes, I yelled at that. So I'm gonna be working on my jingle. Oh, me again. I'll get this eventually. So the kingdom keepers had to bribe a housemate to be quiet. So stitch on a piece that you've had to bribe yourself to work on. Um, this one's easy for me. It's a snowy outlet. I'm apparently not a huge Mill Hill fan. I don't know if it's the size or the color changes or what, but it. I started it just after Mania last year, and he has, I don't know, 20 stitches. So between the two prompts, I should be able to finish him, right? right? Yeah, you should. I love him. Uh, dinosaurs, right? Go ahead. Do it. Dinosaurs. Say it. Dinosaurs. I had it in my head, and then I've completely forgotten what the prompt is. You had to be bribed, bribed to work on. I, I bribed you to work on dinosaurs, so go ahead, just say it. Yeah, it would be dinosaurs. Go ahead. I just, my brain just literally went, <laughs> nothing. Um, yes, it would be dinosaurs. I do our EJ stitches on that too. Summer from the Cricut Collection, if you're noticing, I'm trying to do two prompts on each if I can because 100 stitches isn't a lot. And this one is a lot of white stitching, especially in the middle. So I really have to drive myself to actually get through that white. I'm thinking, because normally I would say George, because, but I'm trying to use George just for one thing in magical stitches. So I'm, 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 I'm doing a lot more prompts with other things. So I'm probably gonna have to go with my quilt because I've been trying to get all the white done and the grays. It's so Yep. It's so boring. So I'm gonna have to go with my quilt. Oh, me again. 
Oh, you're not used to having so many prompts. I know. Uh, some of the Imagineers technology technologies have never been tried before. So explain something you've never tried, but you can stitch on anything you want. So this is like an open ended prompt. So what's something you've never tried? I have never tried tent stitching. So, and I'm, I, I'm not convinced I ever will. There's something about not crossing a cross stitch that just does not compute. No. Uh, and I think I will work on Mean Mother by Lizzie Kate. I'm not one of those. <laughs> Sorry, my neighbors just got a visitor of all things. Um, so I have never tried doing specialty stitches, not even one. And I'm a bit terrified to try. Uh, but thankfully on this project, I don't think I have to because it's Anzac by Long Dog Samplers and that's just full cross and backstitch. I am. Um, I would struggle to answer that. I'm, I'll have to find a particular specialty stitch I haven't tried, but I tend to try new things out. And I think I've given most things a go. I don't like a lot of things, like I don't like parking, but I've tried it. So I might just have to do the stitch on something with stitching that I haven't tried and find one of the stitches in here that I haven't tried. Surely there's one. So I, um, I don't know how to do this. See those roses? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wow. have to learn, but I don't know how to do that. So that kind of scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. But this is, is, that a, is that ribbon roses? Yes, it's ribbon roses, and I don't know how to oh. do ribbon roses. Okay, I haven't tried that. Thank you. You found my solution. I don't know how to do ribbon roses, and it calls for ribbon roses, and I just can't substitute a bead. So that's going to be odd for me. And so, yeah. So I may work on my Cinderella piece because it has to be done. My turn. Now, you know what, guys? This next prompt, we will have no clue what to do. So the high school musical our cast workers work um, come in to work on a daily basis. So work on a project that you stitched with another stitcher. <laughs> Mine is going to be Tired Trio because I'm actually, uh, out of my new starts, it's the only one I planned because I'm doing it with Sarah from our Stitching Kingdom. So it'll be Tired Trio. Nice. Well, I don't think any of my planned mania starts where I'm starting them with someone else. It, yeah, but it's not until the 10th. Does this The homework the ends on the 10th. Oh, okay. So we I can just do have that. To remember which one it is then? And then Daisy, it's Daisy. Daisy. Yes. So I will. I will be starting Daisy, and because she, I'm using her for a couple of prompts, she'll get some love on the tenth, which will be yes. Good. So on the tenth. So if you really, if you have to wait, because the tenth is the day you have to do 50 stitches, and then you'll do 100 stitches. Yeah. Yeah. Or I could do Violet because you you're stitching her as well. It's true. Or you could do Anzac because that's what I'm going to do because I'm stitching that's it. That's true. You know, like a million people so, of us doing it. Yeah, and, and I started with Natalie on the same day, so I will do Anzac. Yeah. I'm going to do Violet with Harriet. <laughs> or Daisy with Harriet. I mean yeah. Daisy with Harriet or Violet with Harriet or... <laughs> oh, God, so many. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I, I have a quick question. Theoretically, could I do my dinosaurs and you could do George because we're stitching them together as part of yes. a yeah. friendly deal? You could. That's what we're working on together. Um, we're all working on, I think uh, most of us are working on a hawk run, different mm -hmm. hawk runs. You're working on chores, you're working on houses, and I'm working on the year. Are you working on a hawk run, Harriet? Nope. So, um, or we could all do a mirror because, I mean, all of us are doing different mirrors. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and also explain any, how. any type of mystery stitch along is obviously being stitched by mm -hmm. several people. So those work as well. If you have any mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Okay. So the last one, 
the DHIs are projected holographs. So stitch on that glows. Hmm. I think I've got that. Do you want me to give you an example? Go ahead. Okay, so there are light pictures, lights glow. So I'll use, I can use this. Um, a candle. Something um, like that. I will use Haunted Mansion because the moon, the big glowing moon in, in it. Mm -hmm. You're muted. Again? I, I flicked here. the wrong button. It's on my head ring. Um, so I will be doing Anzac because there's a couple of different suns on Anzac and the sun glows. Question, theoretical question, does metallics grow, glow like metallic thread? I think we said sparklies works. Sparkles work. Yeah. If it's sparkly okay. thread, metallic thread, beads, any of those would count as a glow. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Harriet. I'm going to copy you. <laughs> Get more of my Anzac, and I'm using it for my daily 30, so that's double dipping straight away. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's the last and that's one. All there. That's it. Okay. It's going to be an interesting week on that one. It is. It's going to be a fun week. So all right. Photos. So daily 30. I haven't even looked at this yet. So y'all are all in this with me. Oh, I need to feel like it's my big book. Okay. So uh, the weekly is called Maypole Week. Um, it's May Day, and for many people around the world, that means it's time to break out the maypole. Let's dance around our own this week as we celebrate an honor tradition. So, number one, a maypole is a tall wooden pole around which beautiful colored ribbons are attached. Stitch on a piece with a tall pole that you could use for your maypole. Harriet, you're first. And it's 100, 200, or 300 stitches. No, it's just 200 stitches for five tokens just this week. Just 200? Yes. Yeah, really? this week's a really generous week. Wow, okay. So I will be using Anzac because the ships have really tall poles that you could use as a maypole. Okay. Who's next? Lisa? Is that Lisa next? Lisa, yes. Oh, Lisa's trying to think, apart from Anzac, which obviously I could do. I'm just seeing if I have anything else that would have a tall pole. Oh, I'm actually tempted to start Raspberry Homecoming because the quilts are standing on the edge of a large tall pole. Nice. Okay. I might start that or I can wimp out and do Anzac. So I can do either George because there's a flagpole, but I can literally do my quilt because there's a fence pole. <laughs> there's an actual pole in there. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do the quilt. Well, I'm going to be using the quilt for the extra credit a lot, I think. Mm. One second. No. Um, having to check. <laughs> Time's up. Next prompt. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> hey, I have to read, so guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I can pull them up. Don't uh, forget, I, just in case you're wondering, don't forget, remember the Daily 30 is a closed group, um, so you will need to, yes. uh, so there's a few of us in it, so just not everyone can, not everyone can join. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to end up going with um, Haunted Mansion for that one because it has the fence poles in it. I was trying to look at my new starts and I'm not seeing um, any. Oh, oh, you want to oh. double dip, anyway. One second, I got it. Um, one of my new starts is May's wordplay and there is a pole, a flag pole there. So, Ooh. there we go. Hey, Sammy. 
this may help me decide what my new starts are because I had two empty spots. Um, okay. Number two. Traditionally, participants in a May Day celebration choose their favorite color for their dress, flowers, and ribbons, as the dancing looks best when everyone is wearing a different color. Choose the color of your attire and stitch with this color across your projects. Any variation of the color will work, and you can use as many whips as you'd like. Please follow the guidelines when posting progress pictures of each of your projects that you use. So, favorite color there, Harriet? Is it gray for dinosaurs? <laughs> No, um, <laughs> that's a good one. I should. Poor Vicky. Um, no, I will be using Anzac because I'm doing it predominantly in 829, which is a really dark navy, and that is the colour I would wear. I honestly have no idea because I don't know what I'll be wearing on the day I decide to do this prompt. So, I really have no clue at all. You don't have a favorite color? Yeah, but I've got to be wearing it, don't I? No. no. Well, in We're all not honesty, dancing then, the maple, that... sweetie. We're just pretending. <laughs> My favorite color this month is white. Okay, nice. I'm not lying. Okay, so um, one of my mania goals this year really was to work on my May quilt. So one of my, my favorite color literally is purple, and I'm down here at this purple. I don't know, can you get my finger on the thing? The border mm -hmm. is purple. So it's 289, two, uh, 209, 208, 210, 212, 211. So all the purples. Gorgeous. Nice. Um, I'm going to be going with Haunted Mansion for this one. One for a double dip, two because my favorite color is purple. Um, I think it's kind of obvious. And there's a lot, the, the shingles in between each floor are purple. Mm. So I should be able to get it fairly quickly and easily. Okay. During the dance, often to music, each participant takes hold of a ribbon and then they then weave around over and under each other to create a multiple colored pattern which creep steadily down the pole. Weave your ribbon over and under by stitching on a whip in which you are using or will use variegated floss. Please justify your choice in your post. Can I ask a weird question? Uh -huh. What mm -hmm. are penalty stitches in this one? 300, 100 extra. 100 extra, okay. Yeah. So, and because I did penalty stitches because I don't have any projects apart from my chatelaine which I'm not pulling out that has a variegated thread but I do have blended threads so I was kind of like I don't have variegated but I have blended for threads but in case that doesn't work here is my 300 stitches for penalty so I did my 300 stitches on violet good choice then you covered your bases yeah uh, I thought well, just in case I'll do Anzac because my Anzac is in a beautiful variegated thread from Swoops for you. It is. Yeah. Definitely yeah. Is. I don't have any current projects that have variegated right now, so I'm probably just going to do penalty and I'm going to figure out what I'm working on that day and I'll just do penalty stitches. I could just use George. George, George, George of the Jungle. Mm -hmm. um, I will use Tired Trio because that the tree that they're hanging from is a variegated floss. Okay. All right, number four, the dance performed by equal numbers of boys and girls or men and women can also serve as a highlighted courtship ritual. The couples begin in a large circle and as they dance, their weeds drawing them ever closer to the base of the maypole and towards each other. Stitch on something that involves in some way someone special in your life and stitching it is drawing you closer together. So I think I might double dip here with magical stitches and stitch on my dinosaurs because the headmistress is one of my good friends and it's drawing me closer to her by having this nice little deal that we have going on. Oh, you're so lovely. This one will be a different one, but 
welcome from Cricket Collection because it's for my new house and I need to finish it since I just moved in, which is why I have no internet and I'm sitting in a car, in case anyone was wondering. Um, so this one's special to me and my family. Okay, so um, either my wedding anniversary is on the 13th, so I'm going to share my screen here. And so I'm going to be doing a new start. Oh, where did it go? I'm going to be starting the Mill Hill wedding shop. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't nice. that cute? So yeah. that's what I'm going to do because my wedding anniversary is on the 13th. And I'm going to go check on my critters because they're barking. So okay. um, I'm going to choose Mean Mother for this one because I'm a mother and it's a project that reminds me of my kids and how we interact with each other and that sort of thing. And it's the only one of my mania things that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next one. Once the maypole is completed, the dancers then reverse their steps to undo the ribbon. This is said to represent the lengthening of the days as the summer approaches. Stitch on a piece that you've reversed your stitching frogged almost as much as you have stitched. <laughs> Good. I guess too bad Anzac's not part of my mania. <laughs> I literally the entire first day, everything I stitched had to come out. Every stitch. Anyway. I, I swear it's jinx because I had to do the same, not quite the same, but almost the same. Half of Australia had to come out. But that's right. not my choice. So, Just in time, huh? So what's the prompt? Um, stitch on a piece that you've reversed your stitching or frogged almost as much as you've stitched. So the other two have gone, but I haven't. I will be stitching on violet because all of this needs to come out because it's one stitch too low. And I realized that today and just went, Good thing my 300 stitches is done because that's going away for a while. <laughs> so I would do Anzac, but I actually need to do my Chatelaine and that'll double dip it because I have to unpick the whole center bit. My turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to have to work on my animals. Um, I have frogged those animals, some of those animals, so many times. So I'm probably gonna work on my animals. Okay. Um, mine out of this set for Mania would be Snowy Owlet, the, the Mill Hill, because mm, yeah. when I first started it, I, I stitched, I frogged, I stitched, I frogged. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. I set it aside. And when I pulled it out like three months later, I had to frog before I could start stitching. <laughs> so. I, it will definitely be that one. It'll double dip with the two that I picked for magical stitches and yeah. knock it all out. All right. And the last, of course, is our non counting challenge. It's the daily 30. You stitch on something 30 minutes a day. Um, and that is it for daily 30s weekly. So next awesome. up, we have magical stitches monthly with Harriet, which is me. Which is, yeah, okay, I found it. So this, this month we're reading Kingdom Keepers book three. Mm -hmm. So the first prompt for 400, 600 stitches, 600 stitches is, um, so we meet the character Stitch for the first time. This is a stitch and spell challenge using only one project. You can list all the items in the post with the cover photo, then stitch 600 stitches in total, 100 uh, stitches for each item, spelling the word stitch with your items. Okay. I'm wondering, need to help guys. There is a sunflower. Mm -hmm. Would you call them turnip? I, don't think I would call those a turnip. Oh yeah, they're yeah, turnips. So 
So there's three turnips, so that would cover two turnips. Um, there is a pie, and there's a chair and a hat. So there you go. I think it's some of my Crick collection for me. Okay. Oh, I go after Lisa. Yes. Okay, so I think I can use this, but I think you guys are going to have to, can, are we allowed to use prepositions like inside? Did we say that? I don't. Usually, usually not. Okay, so then this is what, this is what we're doing here. I've got to figure it out the I. So I've got steam from the teapot. I've got a teapot, a teacup. I've got a cup. I've got a hat. Now I. We have said that like you can describe the tea in the cup. So oh, Irish so I could Lens. I could say Irish tea. Um, and there's also for a, a club on that cup, so that would work too. Cute. So. Nice. And my internet blips, so I'm still trying to load things. <laughs> I'm thinking Haunted Mansion. Of all my stuff that I've got going on this month, it has the most details. So let's see if we can come up with Stitch. Where'd it go? I'm gonna zoom in here. Not like that. All right, so what do we got? <laughs> We've got steeple. trees. You have a steeple. Steeple? Would you say that was a steeple up top? Yeah, trees. Or a skeleton. Ooh, skeleton, yeah. Um, we've got a, do we have a cat? We have a cat. And it's a house. So I need my eye. Eye's the hard one. It really is. Oh, stars. All right, hang on. I gotta pull it up. And look at that in closer. Haunted Mansion by who? Tiny Modernist. Of course, when I pull it. Hmm. Not in very well. Not okay. Um, can we say that, we can't say that it's an icky spider, can we? No descriptive words. Uh, that's right. I have so many rules. <laughs> Incisors are those incisors for his fangs? Uh -huh, could those That's be an right. incisor? Okay. Because he could he have over large incisors? Definitely, he's got little things there. Yeah. Okay. Woo. All right. That that is the first monthly. Oh, Harriet, your turn. You're unmuted. No wonder no one's been listening to me for the last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like suggesting things this whole time for your house and then just no. Nope. Um, so I need help because I have sheep and I have turtle and I have had hat. I can't see the hat now. Uh oh, where's the hat gone? But there's a horse for the H. But I don't have an eye. You don't have an have iguana? A... No, because iguanas aren't Australian. Oh, and the little man's wearing a hat. I, I could call this an ibis, but I don't think it's supposed to be an ibis. I think it's supposed to be an emu. 
I think I may just find We would never me. know. <laughs> You're in Australia. You have some weird critters. Oh, I can just use insect for ant. Oh, there, there you, go. you go. There we go. Hey, Harriet, awesome. what's, that, what's that critter in the top right-hand corner who looks like yes. a warthog? That's an echidna. Oh, what? <laughs> an echidna. It's a monotreme. <laughs> No, it's it's not a monotreme. It's a. It looks like a warthog. Lisa, what is the word I'm looking for? Well, it's, it's an, an anteater. 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 No, it's an echidna. Okay, yeah, but it's like, it. it's like an anteater. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like oh, a porcupine. Anyway, moving on. Next one. So, number two, stitch on a project related to a lady and explain. Um, so, sorry, because my, my sound went off. Is this the second or the third prompt? This is okay. the second. Oh, good. I didn't miss anything then. Awesome. Related to a lady, gosh, I could do my raspberry homecoming because there's lots of ladies in that. You can do your summer for your hat. Well, I was thinking that, the ladies' hat in summer. Or, or yeah, probably those two choices. My turn. Um, I'm going to do a new start because this is WIPCO number, uh, hang on. If you can't tell, WIPCO was called. So I'm just going to get that done with, in Magical Stitches while we do this because I got to remember what number. Uh, oh, while Vicky's finding that, prompts number two to four of 300 stitches each. Four and... 20 were called. So four was my dance of the roses that y'all saw. This is my prompt 20. So related to a lady, man, she's got on a fancy dress. That's this is Dilla. Does. So, and it's also with art and it's also a mania start. So we'll start all the things in mania. Why not? All right. Now this is a little later in the month. So this is part of the monthly. But um, Good Intentions from Kathy Barrick has a very um, big lady there in the middle. Big is her dress, <laughs> not her. Um, so I think I will use her and she is the, the 15th of May. So. Cool. She's so cute. Um, so I'm just stitching on Violet because she's a lady. She's thank wearing God a you dress. Didn't say, thank God you didn't say I'm stitching on this brontosaurus because it's a female brontosaurus. No. You should be double Harriet. dipping now anyway. I am. I'm trying to double dip as much as possible. We okay, your turn, Harriet. My turn again. Uh, so three, stitch on a project that you have a mistake in but have overlooked and explain. Hmm. Well, I reckon. Welcome. I have a stake in getting this up in my house. My no, turn. No, mistake. Mistake, like you have an error in. Oh, a mistake. Yeah, sorry. Right. I'll oh, probably valid to do that one anyway. Um, yeah, that one or summer both have mistakes in them. Okay, I'm going to work on my animals <laughs> because there is a mistake. There's lots of mistakes in this, but where's my hedgy? Hedgy. Hedgy has, I had to fudge him because I, I didn't start him. I missed like two rows, started way too, too fast and it's, it's a mess on there. So I'll be stitching on one of my animals because this project has a few mistakes in it. Um, mine would be, oops. oh, that worked. Okay. I solemnly swear, I'm up to no good. There's some major mistakes and all that loopy stuff there at the top. And I'm like, they're loops. Nobody's going to care if they're not 
the same as the pattern. So I've just left it, just don't even care. Moving on. Uh, so I will be doing Anzac because I stitched the platypus's foot wrong and I don't want to go back and take it out. <laughs> and I'm overlooking it and I overlooked it when I tried to stitch on it the other day and had to recount everything before I figured out what I'd done. Okay. Okay, me again. Four. The story takes place in Epcot or Hollywood Studios. Which park do you prefer? Stitch on a project that represents one of the two and explain how your project relates to the parks. Do okay. Me from The Sound of Music is a film which could be filmed in Hollywood Studios. Does that cut it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to be working on my Cinderella because Cinderella is um, at the restaurant in Norway as a character meal. Now I've had breakfast, breakfast with her a couple of times there in Epcot, so. Um, Hollywood Studios used to be Universal Studios, right? No, did it? No, never been Universal. It was called Holly something else at one point. MGM. Though. Used to be MGM. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go with that one. And again, I would work on I Solemnly Square because it's from the Harry Potter movie. Movie, Hollywood. No, uh, movie Hollywood, okay, yeah, I'll go with that. But actually, Harry Potter is actually Universal Studios, not Disney, but if it is a movie, that's fine. Glad you're being generous. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Guys, I have no idea what I would do. I think I have to do You this. should work. I can tell you what you should do. I can tell you. Dinosaurs, Jurassic Park was a movie. But are they in either of the and Actually, oh, yeah. if you go to if you go to Epcot, hang on. Hang on, I'm going to show you a photo and you're going to laugh. And I can't believe I'm going to do this. I cannot <laughs> believe I'm even encouraging the damn pardon me, the dang dinosaurs. Hang on. I would like for you to meet Gertie. Come on, photo, pop up. I would like for you to meet Gertie. Share screen. There you go. That's Gertie in Hollywood Studios. Oh, I love her. <laughs> She's in Echo Lake in Hollywood Studios. So if you choose to work on your dinosaurs, then oh, that's so cool. meet Gertie. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Perfect. We'll see. 300 stitches is a bit much. Yeah, but then you can make EJ work on Mother Moon. I owe her <laughs> like 700 stitches already. So what? <laughs> Okay. Okay. So number five is World Showcase Japan stitching. Stitch while watching one of these movies, Big Hero 6, Cars 2, or any of the Winnie the Pooh movies because they were produced in Japan. I like Winnie the Pooh. I like Big Winnie Hero 6. I will yeah, be watching Big Hero, Big Hero 6 for me. I've never seen Big Hero 6. I know that sounds sad. I guess I should watch it. Am I going to so cry? Good. Am I the music cry? is great. Yeah. Okay. These, these prompts okay. are great because they're good family time with my kids. So I actually really look forward to them each month. I get to yeah. stitch and do homework while spending quality time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we need, um, I guess we got Sima Sane next. Sima Sane, we're visiting Japan. Mm -hmm. So your first 500, 5,000 oh, stitches. <laughs> We have the, the, sorry, daily 30 monthly. Lisa was going to go over real quick. Forgot that one. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. I'm just missing visible. <laughs> okay. So Shell has been very nice to us this month again. Last month it was April, um, April showers and we had to stitch 500 stitches on 10 things to do with puddles. This month following the April showers is May flowers. 
So you've got to do 500 stitches on a piece with flowers. And you can do it times. 10 times if you want. Yeah. Okay. I have a few of those. I have so Vicky? many of those. You can do my quilt. I'm going to do my quilt. Or I can do my animals because my animals have mistletoe flowers and stuff like that in them. And they have to be very obvious flowers. You can't be like, well, I think that's a flower. You have to be obvious. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Vicki, tell us about okay, Japan. 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 Well, hold so on, can you're... I just show you mine? Because I could ask you a question for mine. Okay. okay. With your obvious flowers, would you call the holly on the border as flowers? Hmm. Isn't holly? it a berry? Yeah, it might be a berry, not a flower. Well, an, or a vine, which isn't exactly a flower either. That one might be. I'm happy. Yeah. No, not that. That's all right. I have nine other choices. Welcome. Barnyard morning. Herb garden. Dory me. Raspberry homecoming. Spring. Summer, summer, and Chatelaine. So I'm going to try and do 500 on each one of those to even it out across. There, my plan mania starts for this next few weeks. Okay. Nice. What about you, Sammy? Any flowers for you? I I have plenty, but I'm not going to pull them all up right now. So we'll see them as I go through the month. Yeah, I have lots of choices. Most Any of your dinosaurs wearing a flower crown? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. Same All right, here we go. So, Sima so we're in Japan. First things first, you can stitch 5,000 stitches on anything you wish. That's easy. Then um, stitch 1,000 stitches on anything having to do with Japan. Um, so, let's see. It doesn't say anything about what what about Japan no it just says it's about Japan mm -hmm. that's a tough one because you just got to find something about Japan well yeah. I actually have mine I am Ooh. going I'm going to show you um, because Japan they drink a lot of tea mm -hmm. so I'm going to do my I'm going to double dip and do my teacups Sounds good. Oh, Harriet, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> you are. You're going to do it. What are you laughing at? Are you complaining about the dinosaurs? Sammy's uh, <laughs> okay. turn. Sammy's turn. turn. Oh, I'm. I'm mm, ooh. I don't. I don't actually do this one, and so I don't know if it would work, but what first comes to mind would be the these dragon things. They make mm. me think of Japan, and I'm sure if I did some research, I could probably relate it, but I don't have that information for you, but this is what I would choose. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Harriet? Sorry. I'm sure there's the dinosaur from Japan. <laughs> it made a a dinosaur. So I'm I could use that if I did this well, this um event. I I am doing it with Vicky and while she's looking up that thing for Sammy, I'm trying to get the Japanese cherry blossoms in the corner of the chatelet. So Sammy, you could actually use that one that you were gonna use the dragons on because um, Japan's flag is white with the red circle. Well, there you go. Ah, uh, yes, the color. Next one, Vicky. I'm looking up what list of Asian dinosaurs right now. I had and controlled I myself. There are a lot of them. I'm not very happy. There's a whole freaking list of them. From A to freaking That's okay. Z. She, she might just start doing a challenge just for that. 
So um, anime accounts for 60% of the world's animation. Um, it's based entertainment. Stitch a thousand stitches on anything related to anime. Uh, this one's hot. Uh-uh. Anyone doing those haze with the girls with the big eyes? Um, the I was just about to say that Alice no. is very similar to what anime is with the big eyes. And the yeah. Scene. Alice would be good. Um, um, I mean, dragons are part of anime, so could do a dragon, I guess. Or an overly over-the-top dressed lady, because they're all in anime too. What do you reckon about this bird? I can't see him, if you can see my bird. Does he look like an anime bird? No. I don't no. know what an anime bird would look like. No. Okay. Fail for once. So I'm going to use my Disney villains. So y'all take, y'all know what my Disney villains look like. My Disney villains. I double checked with admin on this because my Disney villains look like this type of Japanese Japan art. Chibi. Chibi. Ah, cute. Yeah, chibi. I don't know what that is, but my it seems according to them this is what my so we this is what my uh, villains look like. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do something like that. Okay. Lisa, uh, Lisa's still looking. Oh, Lisa's Lisa's got no hope. Okay. Moving on. Oh, I was gonna say Harriet. Oh. I, I said. What um, did you say? An over-the-top dressed girl, because all oh, the anime okay. characters seem to be like that. Sorry. I think okay. I had something else, but I can't remember. Oh, a dragon, because there's dragons in anime. Okay. Um, the next one was I did anime. I forgot that I was doing this. Uh, Japan is called the land of the rising sun. And the red circle on their flag symbolizes the sun. Stitch at least a thousand stitches on a whip with circles. So mine would be House Targaryen. Mine would be Anzac because it has at least one circle in there. I would be doing the same because there's a complete circle around Australia and an oval shaped circle around New Zealand. Yeah. I'm going to do first Christmas because the ornaments are circles and the whatever. We have not figured out what these are, but they're circles. Okay. Um, Japan has a train that floats by magnetism. Stitch on a thousand stitches on a whip with something that floats. So I would use Shores of Hawkrun Hollow because it has ships in it. Yeah, I would use Anzac because it has boats in it as well. Give me a minute, I'm looking. I'm going to use my animals because penguins float. He floats. Not with his martini glass, though. Not when he's having a few martinis, but he floats. Do birds float? How about the duck? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, I'd probably do my summer because there's lots of birdies sitting in the bird bath and stuff floating in the water. Yeah. Okay. Um, and here is this one. Um, I can't say it. Can't say the word. Mm -hmm. Sh uh, Shintoism. Yeah. Okay is one of the original religions of Japan. One of the four formations of this religion is the love of nature. Do at least a thousand stitches on a whip of a scenic landscape that depicts the love of nature. I would probably do Spangled because it has that open field around the house. Nice. Yeah. And pretty trees. Much I could do... Mm -hmm. 
I could do Anzac or my Hade, which is the train in the Australian landscape. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I could do either, uh, I probably could probably do my quilt just simply because it is kind of like it's sitting in a field. Yeah. Or I could do my post office because it's got a lot of trees and snow. I like trees post and office snow. Is probably, post office is probably safer there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that is for that. Wednesday, we go to the letter J for alphabet soup. I am Good doing, grief. I am doing jingle. I restart. The one I can find while I go, that's what it looks like. If I was doing these ones, I'd do my dinosaurs because it's got every letter of the alphabet in there. Yeah, I don't think I have anything for Jill. No designers? Joan Elliott? Oh, yeah. Nope. I mean, I could probably go through I and have no idea. Any. I don't have any just man shots. Okay, something else they're doing in my scene right now is with Whammy. So each day we're given a set of questions. We post answers or pictures um, for those. You can do up to three, get three spins. Depending on your spins, you will either get entries um, into the drawings at the end of the year. Um, I just blanked stitches that you have to do or whammy, which takes away your entries. Um, and that's going on for the whole month. If you join in, you start with that day's questions. You do not have to that date. Um, it does look like they're only keeping the questions open for spins for about 12 hours. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can also get spins passed to you or win them in, in other spins. Um, several rules, if you wanna check it out, make sure you read through all of them. Um, it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I find it very like nail biting to do my spinning. So what else are we doing, Harriet? Uh, we've got Stitchopoly, which is potentially the greatest game ever invented which is based on Monopoly um, and everything you land on has a stitch count that you have to stitch on before you go round, before you move on. As you pass go, you collect entries. Um, we should also say that within the last week, semi sanes become a closed group as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, they, they're, they want more people participating. They've closed down temporarily while they get rid of inactive people and then maybe they'll open back up. I'm not quite sure how they're handling that yet. But um, the nice thing about Stitchopoly is it is it's a go at your own pace. I mean, you when you spin, you have to stitch within 48 hours, but you can keep going without needing to check in with an admin constantly. So it, it's, I like when they do something like with Whammy with something like Stitchopoly, because when you're waiting for this, you can be doing this. So, anything else anybody can think uh, of? There's this or that board games or video games. Oh, there's a this or that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It started on that the one? 2nd of May. Sammy, uh, and tell me about that one. I don't there's do that. There's a loser as well. Oh, I like this or that. There's Nerdapalooza as well, which is where you stitch on up to five nerdy, geeky projects. Um, Mythological has started doing challenges again. So if you're in that group, um, be on the lookout because I believe they, they took a break for a couple months, but they got some up this month. Um, and Supernatural is still doing their thing too. Um, we don't none of us actually participate in those groups so i don't have those available um if anybody needs us to go over those just message us message me and let me know um 
I think that's it, right? That's all I've heard. It's a all busy right. month with Mania. It's a very busy month. I feel like I'm just full of stuff over here. Yeah, I have two notebooks going and my spreadsheet going, trying to like categorize how, oh, what yes. am I doing now? What, what are my stitches currently being used for? Right, this 300s for this, 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 and this. Don't forget to post all of the yeah. photos. It's ridiculous. I just created an old fashioned spreadsheet for my bit of Myth and Magic Wars. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I have two going now too. All right, well, that is it for us this week. We hope you stuck with us because it's a really long one. We had a lot to talk about and we will try our best to be here next week. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.